Yeah, so in that story, um, Jacob pretends to be his brother. You remember that? So that his father will uh, bless him instead of his brother because his father was planning to bless his brother. Yeah. But the father, I guess, is can't see. You know, he's on his deathbed. And uh, But the problem is his brother is hairy. Yeah. But he's not. So his mother, who's who came up with this whole scheme, uh, wraps him up in goat skins. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and the thing is... You, <laughs> It's such a stupid story. Like his was his, his since his father was blunt. It, it reminds me of uh, Warcraft three when you clicked on uh, Illidan, he would say, "I'm blind, not deaf." And it's like, well, could he not? It's like, come here, son. Why are you being so quiet? Well, what, well, no matter. I mean, that's straight. <laughs> I mean, it, it, you, it's like a scene out of uh, Eric the Viking. Remember that, where he's got mm -hmm. the cloak. And it's like, oh, it's a cloak of invisibility, but it only works on my husband. And it turns out that the husband is just really stupid. <laughs> and it just doesn't make him invisible at all. It's just that he's retarded and can't put two and two together. That was Jacob's dad. Yeah. And yet, and yet the, the God of the Bible honors the agreement, even though it was made via deception. Right. He's like, okay, well, I guess your blessing goes to him. I mean, it's, it's, it's so ridiculous. How can people not... If I tell someone, like, a story from the Ramayana about, <laughs> you know, about, you know, Ram fighting the king of the demons and then a, a monkey man jumping 600 miles over the sea to land in Lanka, I mean, they're like, okay, well, this is all folklore, right? And, and they just can't see it in their own stories. They can't see that their own stories are not special or different. It's just more folklore. Right. Yeah. This line here made me laugh out loud. He, he, okay, listen to this. He went to his father and said, My father. Yes, my son, he answered. Who is it? Jacob said to his father, Wait, how, how do you pronounce his brother's name? E S A U. Esau. 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 Okay. I am Esau, your firstborn. I have done as you told me, please sit, meaning went out and hunted for yeah. something that he wanted to eat. Please sit up and eat some of my games so, so that you may give me your blessing. Isaac asked his son, how did you find it so quickly, my son? All right, it's like he suspects something. The Lord your God gave me success, he replied. Yeah. And Isaac, then Isaac said to Jacob, Come near so I can touch you, my son, to know whether you are really my son Esau or not. Yeah. Give me a fucking break. Yeah. Come here so I can touch you and know if you're really my son. Like, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. They, Jacob went close to his father who touched him and said, The voice is the voice of Jacob, but the hands are the hands of Esau. <laughs> Oh, because of the goat skin, right? You, you, yeah. You can't, you can't, because the, 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 the mother uh, tied some goat skin to his hands and that yeah. fools you, huh? With just some string, not adhering it like a wig or something, you know? And, it, and what is he, what is he eating? He's eating goat, that's what he's feeding him. Yeah. <laughs> you idiot. He did not recognize him for his hands were hairy like those of his brother Esau. <laughs> So he blessed him. Are you really my son Esau? He asked. <laughs> I am. Yes, replied. I am. He's just making a <laughs> fake voice. <laughs> yeah, I totally am. That he said, my son, bring me some of your game to eat so that I may give you my blessing. Oh, he didn't give him the game yet, but the game is gold. Yeah. Jacob brought unto him and he ate. Blah, blah, blah. Come here, my son, and kiss me. When Isaac caught the smell of his clothes, he blessed him and said, Oh, I have, I have the smell of my son. <laughs> I'm sorry. Has, has, you'd think that the authors of these things had been around goats and stuff and would know the difference between a goat's hide and a hairy human arm. I mean, you'd have to be, you'd have to be one of the Planet of the Apes type people. You'd have to be proof of evolution, basically, <laughs> to be that hairy. So that it's thick like Oh, yeah. Goats. Like, like when they were born, the story of them being born is uh 
is going to be included in the video. It's like uh, when the time came for, came for her to give birth, there were twin boys in her womb. The first to come out was red, and his whole body was like a hairy garment. So they named him Esau, which means hair, hairy. So that's, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to do when the kid was born after that line. So they called him Esau. I was going to go, oh. <laughs> you know, it's going to show him being born splat. Yeah. Splats on the ground. And he goes, oh. And his brother came out grasping Esau's heel. <laughs> so he was named Jacob, which means gra he grasps the heel. Figuratively, he deceives. Okay. So, so wait, Jacob's name means he who deceives? It says here in the footnotes, Jacob means he grasps the heel, and then in parentheses, figuratively, comma, he deceives. And that's exactly what he does. Yeah, with a lot, so he, he deceives a lot of people. His name means liar in the story, and people think this is actual people and events. Mm. It's remarkable. Uh, trying to figure out what I can put on here to make this look good. But um, yeah, well, you know, the thing is, like, if people will ask you, wait, you don't believe what I believe? Well, you must be nuts. And they, they, they always assume that you're not familiar with their scripture, whatever religion they actually have. And you're like, no, I, I actually do know it, which is why I don't think there's anything to it. Mm -hmm. And it, it doesn't take a lot to beat them in, in a simple trivia contest, you know what I mean? Because they've often not read it at all. And uh, it's, it's just ridiculous. And, and the thing is, like with Yafur, for example, right? Yeah. If, if you tell... If you tell, uh, I mean, there's there's a talking donkey in Christianity and in Islam. There's one, there's a uh, Balaam's talking donkey right. in the Old Testament, and then there's uh, Yafur, Muhammad's talking donkey from the Hadith and from the histories, right? And if you tell them and they haven't heard the story, they'll just assume that you're making it up and you're just trying to insult them, right? Then you show them that it actually is there beyond the shadow of a doubt, and they're like, oh, well, it's a miracle. God can do anything. But if you show a Christian the Muslim talking donkey, or a, or, or a Muslim the Christian talking, the Judeo-Christian talking donkey, because it's in the Old Testament, they'll say, oh, well, it just goes to show how silly their so-called holy book is. You know, just, <laughs> tunnel vision just never ceases to amaze me. They can't see. It's all the same shit. It's all folklore. Every people around the world produced it, and it's all rubbish. Mm-hmm. All right, there's one story from the Bible where uh, it happens twice. Uh, this guy's traveling through this land of a pagan king, and uh, he lies and says that his wife is his sister. And then... People, right. Yeah, and even even after she's hundreds of years old, men are still lusting after her to the point where he says, oh, I better say she's my sister, because if I say she's my wife, they might kill me to get their hands on her. Uh, that was uh, That was Abraham's son. Um, yeah, it sounds right. That's, uh, I can't remember all the names of the Bible, but that's, yeah. uh... Isaac, isn't it? Yeah, that is Isaac. Uh, it's been a while since I've read any of that stuff, so yeah, the names and so forth. And, and what's crazy is if, if you drew a blank trying to remember who with, what happened to uh, Abraham or Isaac, a lot of them would say, Aha, you lose right there, you know nothing about the book. I'm like, well, oh, shit. Yeah, it's it's actually a 66 freaking books. I mean, yeah. some people are, you know, I know there's religious folks out there that can rattle stuff off and know right what you're talking about, but, you know, I'm not... No. I'm not no. reading this book at all, you know, a significant portion of the day, every day, because, yeah. you know, it's it's just rubbish to me. And, and, and it, when I do that, when I l look at this book and read it, it feels like a waste of time. Yeah. It really does. Well, you know, it's amazing about uh, religious literature is they'll swear up and down how beautiful it is, but when have you ever really seen someone saying, you know, I, I don't believe in this religion, but I just can't put this book down. It's so good. Never. You never see that. 
Yeah, it's... I mean, uh, I, I don't read a lot of fiction, but the last time I pick up, picked up a, a, a novel, it was Mog World by uh, Yahtzee Croshaw. And I burned through it in a day or so because I just kept reading it. It was good. It was actually had a narrative. It was actually interesting. It was actually funny. Uh, but, I mean, it, not everything has to be funny funny, but uh, the point is I couldn't put it down. It was good. And I'm a religious yeah. reader. But when do you ever see people reading a religious book for pleasure? And yet they'll swear up and down that it's the most beautiful book ever written. Hmm. Yeah, it's just... Literature served a very different purpose back then. It was... Very few people could read, especially for just for pleasure. No. Do you want even the corners replaced with uh, sand, smooth stands, sandstone? Or does it not matter? It doesn't matter unless it would look weird from from the ceiling. I don't care. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of thinking this up as I go. This like this was the focal point. And I remember one time, uh, Sarah Han. Uh, usually, we. I don't want to say that I avoid the topic of religion on this channel, but I'm trying to move past it. Yeah. Uh, but one time, uh, Sarah Han, we went into a building that looked like a church, even though it was built in honor of a giant squid or something. And uh, he just started on this rant about religion and so forth. And there was one person who said, "Well, you know, I'm I'm a Christian, and I thought this was actually pretty funny." Or I see a lot, you know, see some validity in his complaints against organized religion. And I'm like, well, you know, I I almost don't care whether you're offended or not. The question is, did it cause you to think about some of the stuff that we talked about? I I mean, if you're offended and you thought about it. That's much better than if you're not offended because you didn't think about what was said, you know? I mean, yeah. if you can be a good sport, fine. But the point is, you know, is this really something that a grown person should believe? You know, do you really think that everybody else, everybody else, their religions uh, are just an extension of their culture, but yours truly came down from up on high? You know what I mean? Mm. Is, But... Sometimes people have been sports about that, and I'm like, how? How can you be a sport? You know, I mean, it's like, if, if any of it's real, then each and every one of you should flip out like the most hardcore fanatic, without exception, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that is true. I mean, if I believed in the Bible, I mean, I, I probably wouldn't even be doing this right now. That would be like the center of my universe. Yeah. We're talk, talking about eternity, your, 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 eterni your eternal existence. And you're gonna, you know, concern yourself over Minecraft. Yeah. I mean, if I believed that this book was written by the, or well, it's at least inspired by the creative universe, that it's true, I would be. I would know this book inside and out. It would be all I think about. I'd be anticipating death every second of the day. That would be what matters. Yeah. Monks, like people like monks and nuns. I mean, I they're th those are true believers. Uh, people that just, you know, go to work every day, commute, and you know, work as an accountant or whatever. I mean, it's like, do you really believe this shit? Because yeah. you know, I don't know. If a billion people believed in it and they didn't operate basically like one of those UFO suicide cults, they, on some part, at some level, they they are taking the piss. And yeah, it's like waiting to die. That's the other thing. It's like okay, if you have this massive, if this is just a waiting room for something much better, then it's like every day that you don't get crushed in your bed by an aircraft engine like Donnie Darko is a bad day, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, you know, like when I could just imagine one of Flanders' kids being like, "Daddy, does God hate us? Why didn't Why didn't He bring us to Him today?" It's like, well, don't worry, uh, children. A plague might break out soon and kill you, and then you'll be, you know, I mean, it's it's really like they can make 
everything backwards. They can make up, down, down, up, left, right, and so forth. Yeah. That's not a reference to the Konami code. I'm just trying to make a point. Like, they, they can take <laughs> any value that's that's that otherwise is a, is a nearly universal value and turn it on its head and say, well, you know, that's what the world thinks. But do you want to do what the, you know, if the world jumped off a bridge, would you do it too? No, no, no. Do, do what the spirits want. Uh, Bill Burr has a funny thing about uh, religion. He says, uh, he's like, well, you know, when I'm playing playing catch with my son, he's like, hey, are we going to go to church Sunday? He says, no, we're not going to go to fucking church. He's like, you're going to tell me that, uh, you know, hey, you know, God, you know, God's everywhere, but I need to go to a special building in order to talk to him, and he's also angry with me, and therefore I owe you money? No, that's bullshit. <laughs> Huh. What is this? I want it to seem like this building was like levitating. Yeah. But. Well, it is. I know, but like. If I put stairs, I, I won't be able to get up there. But if I put stairs there, then it will look connected to something. Oh, here I have I have a means of dealing with that. Uh, let's see. What you do is, uh, we don't. Do you have any wood? Yeah. Well. Um, or a crafting yeah. bench. Here, let me. Oh, my inventory is full. Let me toss it out here. Yeah. Okay, so get ourselves a crafting bench. There, and I'll just use brick slabs for now. Now with slabs, you can make something that uh, you can climb up and down, but at the same time, it'll uh, it'll hover if you want it. So uh, um, let's see. Well, actually. And there you go. Cool. And with the extra jump uh, power we get from the beacon, now you don't have to use brick slabs, obviously, but. Oops. Um, how am I going to do this? I need to get. <laughs> you just need a block next to it so you can actually place the darn things. So, yeah, th these work pretty well, I think. Yeah. So, uh, what kind of stairs do you want? You want sandstone slabs? Um, it would be uh, a good continuation of what you've already got going. Okay, yeah. Um, what kind of s slabs... Are there? There's almost every kind of solid block. But there's no such thing as glass slabs, I don't think. No, right? unfortunately. That would be cool. All right. Well, yeah, I guess sandstone. Do that. Okay. Uh, um. About that. Uh, actually, well, I don't know how you want them spaced exactly, but do you want the first step flush with? Uh, this is this going to be the, this is going to be the floor, right? Yeah, this flo floating thing. So maybe. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, right there is fine. Is it like that so it's not touching? Because that's as close as you can get it while it still looks like it's hovering. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then I'll just uh, <laughs> see. Uh, do you want them? Uh, like this, or do you want them truly apart from each other? Truly apart. Yeah. Okay. Look cool. Looks looked cool. Okay. Let's see. Um, how did I do that before? Like that. There we go. There we go. 
Okay, cool. 